This is a brief update on the Healy 2.0 and the super low budget charge controller setup. Uh, to start with, and even though we've had gusts up to you know, 20 or so, the Healy has a hard time starting. Right now I've just got it freewheeling. Uh, I remember that with the 1500, I had that same issue right at the, the start, and it just needed to, to turn some to loosen up. Now that the 1500, it, it, it gets going in the lightest wind. Uh, it doesn't make power in the lightest wind, but it gets going in the lightest wind. Uh, so right now, I, I just I disconnected it. Uh, it has no load on it. The wind is pretty mild today, so we're gonna let it free wheel for a little while, see if it loosens up a little bit. Now, as far as the controller this has actually worked exactly the way I thought it would um, it uh, it's keeping uh, the, the battery voltage at above 24 volts it's cycling on and off exactly the way I thought it would uh, right now there's enough wind going on that I can you know be producing about 107 watts that's going back but it's just not not great but like I said we've got between 5 and 10 mile an hour wind out there it's not impressive uh, you can see the voltage is cycling it's you know, so long as it's above 24 volts this thing keeps that relay on and that relay is uh, feeding it Things aren't getting hot so far. I'm gonna have to come and check it again whenever we actually have some uh, some real wind blowing outside. But uh, I, I've sat out here and I watched it a little while, and you know that it, it kicks off at 24 volts. Everything shuts down. Voltage recovers just fine. Uh, and then after it's set and cooled off for 60 seconds, it'll come back on. But I've been out here for the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes, and it hasn't turned off at all. Uh, this this controller over here, the, the, the grid time inverter, is actually doing a pretty decent job of keeping them producing something. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the setup. I wish that I had tried that before. I'm probably going to go ahead and set up the other charge controller to where I can have the Healy running on it. It still says 24.8. And uh, just, I'm going to go ahead and convert that to 48 volts. And I think that, especially with that Healy still being hard to start, that the 36 volt configuration is just too much drag on it. So that's our next step. We're gonna do the same thing, the same solid state relay with the, uh, the 48 volt controller, the one that I got to run the 36 volt, but it'll also handle a 48 volt setup. We're gonna, going to run the Healy and probably one or two of the other turbines on 48 volts. I know that the, the Healy is supposed to be, that's marketed as only 48 volts the um, the i1500 is 24 48 this 400 watt turbine is actually 48 volts uh, even though i run it at 36 it does really well there but i'm probably looking at running the healy and that 400 on one circuit by themselves i think that that will be enough output between the two of them to justify that they'll both run at 48 volts and We'll see how that setup does. So stay tuned. More updates to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.